Tested, tested, one, two, three. Tested, Hello, tested, ladies and gentlemen, one, two, welcome three. to today's tested, 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 session. One, Yo, what's up, guys? So, if you're hearing us a little bit differently, it's because, right, while I was in Hong Kong, I found these cheap mics, which was about a tenner, ten pounds, which is about a hundred Hong Kong dollars. A hundred dollars? Hong Kong dollars. <laughs> Why is it clarify. so much, though? I don't know. You know, when you go to Prague and it's like a thousand, like a thousand sort of Czech, whatever, Czech Corona, whatever it is. It's like, Czech Corona. <laughs> Czech Corona. <laughs> I don't know. Czech but either way, right? So it's about a hundred Hong Kong dollars, which is roughly about 10 pounds UK money, obviously. Before we see uh, how it goes. Nice. Let us know in the comments how the um, sound quality yeah, is. It's about 20 meters. So technically, you should be able to hear me quite quite clearly from here as well. I don't know if you can actually see me from <laughs> the camera angle, but... <laughs> well, what we do is we do a little test in a minute and we'll go right down the bottom and yeah, see if we can... Uh... So, Wait, is this 50 meters? 20, 50? 20 meters. 20 meters? Yeah, that's quite a bit. That's like the, the length of a long anaconda. Long anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have an anaconda where we can uh, <laughs> test it out? But I don't know. We can make really do some nice ASMR gardening if we don't. You know what I mean? That's true. Because it should pick up. Well, it pick <laughs> yeah, up a lot of like the, the weeding, pick up the nice sort. weeding sound with our. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Shows how hard work we do, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, let us know in the comments below. And it also what do you think? also naturally beeps out Gary swearing. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I don't know. Beep. What are you talking about? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's from Hong Kong. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just. It's just another. Nice. I don't know what brand it is. But... <laughs> 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 oh, you do some weeding. Very good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this mic is amazing. Changes <laughs> is my accent. <laughs> Welcome back, Gary. Mic off. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Mic on. How are, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What I sound through the what I think I sound like. What I really sound like. It, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a good day. Oh my god, you just chuck stuff at me. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey, you know, mate. How does the rustling sound with the mic? <laughs> hey, yes. ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> what a couple of mice can do to people. <laughs> Welcome back, Gary. Hello, hello, hello. I am back for my holiday. Gary's very excited to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very excited. <laughs> Gary couldn't wait to come back and get his hands yeah. knee deep in dirt and mud. I know you guys have missed me so much. Hope everyone's doing well. Back at the garden. Out of breath already. It's too much uh, Hong Kong style cuisine mate. <laughs> you were living your best life out there weren't you? I was mate, I was. What That's... was your favourite thing to eat in Hong Kong? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Even the people? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> guys some nice clear soil there versus non-weeded soil 
That's just like five minutes work, man. So, you know, that's not too bad. Micro weeding. Micro weeding, mate. Micro ave. That's it. So, what have you guys been up to? Have you been looking after Alex? <laughs> what, is, what has he been up to? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, I'm joking. Hope he's been treating you guys alright too. <laughs> Feel like we need the mics on now, don't we? mics on possibly yeah. if if you're not doing any mowing yeah i might jump on with you with some uh weed some weed, weed anyway. ow i just hit myself on the tree <laughs> and he's back back with the gardening but yeah had a good time went to hong kong visit some family mainly had some stuff to do there. Yeah, not much has changed since the last time I went. Probably about before COVID and all that. So, you know, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, there we go. That section's pretty much done. Just got to be careful not to take out any of the bulbs and all that. That's a weed there, I think. Lightly loosen up the soil so then you can just pull these bits out just like that. I'm not gonna be able to get every single little bit of weed out, but at least it looks a lot better than what it was, so that's all right. really in my way but blow my nose lovely British weather put my put my glove the wrong way around a lot better than what it was as you can see you can tell the difference it's a bit it's a bit dark over here and then lighter there so it needs to work on that area yep just give that a nice little weed out here Alex has started the lawn already looking fresh oh Alright, time to do this bit here.
this bed here guys just looks looks like it needs <laughs> just spotted <laughs> can you imagine it comes through it's like Brrr. yeah we can do this this one here just needs kind of like just hoeing through there's a few little bits here and there that need to come out guess who's back gary's back gary's back back again i think people thought you had left who knows, man? One day, guys, I'm going to go forever, you know? No one's here forever. Okay, just got a bit deep, but... <laughs> Welcome back to that Acres Long Care, where we're very, very sad. <laughs> <laughs> now over to Gary Pag. This is places where... Yeah, I know. I'm not in the way of the camera. Place it wherever you want to, mate. This is the best time to get in and start doing a little bit of weeding because most of all the spring bulbs are up now so you can see where they are. Tell us, uh, tell us a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, Asian Gary. I love this type of soil, man. It is nice to weed. It's so it? nice to work with. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Oh, and what Gary's using? He's using a little mini fork. This is made from Poseidon himself. <laughs> He's also beside himself. <laughs> yeah, so Gary uses that because if there are any bulbs in there, if he's using a hoe, he's going to be slicing through it. So this way we just kind of sort of go up like how Gary's using it now. Up and down. Up and down. Just kind of turn that soil over so he's not going to damage any bulbs. Because I'm a professional, I can use this. <laughs> Please tell me more about it. With great power becomes great responsibility. <laughs> That's Yoda <laughs> doing Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we got in here is some hookers, chop chai, yeah. and we've got all these forget me nots in here as well. So we're going to leave them because they had a nice blue sort of wave of blue colour yeah, in the yeah. spring. Forget, that's why I always say forget me nots, forget them because they don't cause any harm. They flower in the spring, they do look quite nice. yeah. They look great, they look great, and they're, they're really easy to get out once they've grown. So, yeah, <laughs> maybe just maybe put it back where you had it before because I think it was okay. This is us testing the mics out, guys. So if you let us know if you think it was annoying or whether we're annoying, then you shouldn't be watching the content. Yeah. Right, guys, this is a position shoot. I don't know if there's any difference, or, uh, or if you prefer the first one. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and sort of get the same gardens as well. <laughs> I'm going to try and um, get in and sort of film the same gardens throughout the year just so you guys can see how they change through the seasons. Because at the minute we're in spring and we're coming up and we're getting the spring bulbs coming up but there's tons of things that are going to come out and look pretty uh, through the summer so we'll try and get back in and do sort of a couple of visits a year well filming in these gardens a year so you guys can see the best results
fresh air is a day. I might actually cut that hydrangea back quite hard this year. It's just become quite woody. No, I do. I deadhead it and take it down a few buds, but. <laughs> roger, roger. Ugh. Oh, the sun's coming out. I'm gonna have a nice glare. Have it. Yeah. Looking fresh as a daisy. Is it quite common in the, the US to just add a layer of mulch over the top of your beds? Because I see it quite often and people always say to me, oh, just add mulch over the top, but I don't really, well, I get it, but for me, it's more that I add nutrients into the soil and I quite like the look of soil as well. Whereas, if you add mulch, it's kind of a bit, I don't know. Why do you guys add mulch? What is mulch? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> well, I always hear the term, add mulch onto the beds. Like people ask me, oh, if you add mulch, but it's more that we condition the soil, obviously. We come and add manure and stuff to make it, add nutrients into it, but... We never really add like a thick blanket over the top of it to cover like weeds and stuff. I, I prefer to get in, hand pick the weeds out, turn the soil over. I just think it looks so much nicer. Well, you've always said you are quite the traditional gardener. Yeah. But one video I watched a few little while back, the guy literally just strimmed down a bed and added mulch over the top of it. Yeah, surely that's right. And I was just thinking, you're, burying that, the you're just burying, yeah, yeah like in... A couple of months' time, it's going to be back up again. You're not really solving. Well, I mean, it's hard to solve it long term. But no, but even if it's. Not. If you weed like, and take it out by the root, for example, nice long big root, if that's gone, then it's obviously. It's it is going to. It's not going to come back for a bit, yeah. I'm not knocking. I, I mean, I had. We had mulch over things, but we dig it in, don't we? I mean, we do clear it out first. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, it just makes sense. Yeah, of course. I mean, it makes sense. So, I mean, I see people that do it. They come along and they weed it out and stuff. That's great. But I don't get the point of strimming it down, then adding mulch over the top. Yeah. So it doesn't really, you know, unless you're going to add like a thick layer, which isn't a thick layer of sort of liner. That's quite pretty, isn't it? That primrose. Nice sort of mix there. Beautiful. It is quite nice, isn't it? Want to take a photo of that? Uh, it's going to cost you four pound fifty. <laughs> okay, so I think it turned out that Gary's mic didn't work towards the end. Um, I think it ran out of battery. We hadn't actually charged them since we bought them, so um, <laughs> wasted effort. Wasted effort, but good, we'll good get, effort, boys. Good, good, <laughs> good effort, boys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now we're we're finished here now. So this is the overall shot of the garden. Looking pretty good. It's definitely ready for summer. A few bits that need to be sorted out. You've got the hydrangea there, which I'm going to sort of give that a nice tidy up. And then, um, yeah, just sort of carry on ticking over, making sure it's all looking pretty fresh. And then the jasmines on the decking will come in in summer. They'll look 
beautiful. But I hope you enjoyed this content, guys. We're just we're just simply um, filming content for you, and we're going to have mix and match of everything throughout the year. So if you're new to the channel, consider liking and subscribing. That'd be awesome. And we'll uh, see you in the next video. Take it easy.